All right, this is from day eight using negative exponents. It is a cooldown called, no, not that. I was on the wrong page, hold on. It's from a cooldown, uh, I think it's invasive fish. Yes, invasive fish. So suppose a bacteria population of a million has been increasing by a factor of two every hour. What was the size of the population five hours ago? How many hours ago was the population less than 1,000? So we could go backwards and calculate the population of bacteria one hour ago, two hours ago, by dividing by two, since it's doubling every hour. And if we're going backwards, we're going to divide by two or take a half of what we have. So that would be 500,000. Two hours before that would be 250, because cut in half, cut in half. But there is a better way to do it. Another way to reason through these questions is by representing the situation with an equation. If t measures time in hours since the population was 1 million, then the bacteria population can be described by the equation of this. We could write it like that, or you know what's even better? We could just stick with our standard equation that we already know, but if this t is time hours since the population was 1 million. If I want to figure out what the population was two hours before that, I just got to put in a negative two. You could do this on Desmos, or I mean, you could do it on paper if you really want to. Just remember that two to the negative two is one fourth. But anyway, the point is negative exponents are a way that you can show previous times from when you started. So this one right here, it's 1 million when t is 0, so 5 hours earlier, t would be negative 5. And here's a way to calculate the problem. Or, I mean, do it on Desmos. Just type in, you know, an amount as a function of time equals your equation to the t power. And then on the next line down, you just go a of negative 5. That was a horrible a. Close enough. You get the idea. So let's take a look at this. Equation p equals 5,000 times 2 to the t is the population of invasive species fish species in a large lake t years since 2005. Oh, wait a minute. What was the population in 2005? How many years since 2005 is 2005? Or, uh, I mean, if 2005 is our starting year, what's our starting value? Also, for this model, what does it mean when t is negative 2? Well, if t is d years since 2005, negative values would be what? My other question, my last question is, if the population is doubling every year, and we know that t equals negative 2. Well, from number 2, you should know what that means. t equals negative 2. What year would that be? And what would that say about the population of fish if our population is growing over time? Are we going forwards in time or backwards in time? Would it be growing or getting smaller? I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.